Hello everyone, Frank with Clean Carburetor. Here we have a handheld Ryobi string trimmer, straight shaft. This is model ES30. Uh, the good thing about this uh, particular model is that it's got a so-called touch start. The unit is been having a hard time starting or staying running. So in this video we're going to show on how we're going to clean the carburetor but without the disassembly of the carburetor. So we're going to wire the um, unit to the auxiliary battery. The unit should be cranking when we press the start button. Let's try that. So the engine would crank but it would not stay running so let's clean the carburetor to clean the carburetor on this small Ryobi two-stroke uh, string trimmer engine or any other two-stroke or four-stroke small small engines for handheld equipment we're gonna use the gum buster which is a, a solvent and it's used to dissolve the gum inside the carburetor over a, a period of time of no more than 30 minutes. The gum buster is a, a solvent for all the gasoline engines applications from snowblowers, rototillers, motorcycles, jet skis, handheld equipment, generators, lawnmowers and so on. It comes with a uh, so-called purge valve. The purge valve is a fitting that allows us to inject the gum buster inside the carburetor. To get to the carburetor, we're just going to remove the air filter box. So on this two-stroke or four-stroke small diaphragm type carburetor, there are two fuel lines. One line is a fuel line feed from the tank to the carburetor and the second one is the return line. In order to find out which line is which, is either the yellow feed line or the black line, I'm going to take a look inside the tank. The long line with the filter at the end of it is the feed line to the carburetor and then the short line is the return from the carburetor. Some fuel might come out of the line so just drain the fuel out of the line and then actually the primer bulb and here there is no more fuel inside the primer bulb. So now we're going to install the uh, purge valve on the feed side of the carburetor. It's, it's got to be a very tight fit. I'm going to remove the dust cap and we're going to connect the gum buster to it. Now we're going to start injecting the gum buster inside the carburetor, but not before we activate the primer bulb. So we're going to start activating the primer bulb first, and while doing that, we're going to activate the gum buster. So let's go do it. I activate this first. Activate. Since the uh, primer bulb is on the return side of the fuel system, once we get the gum buster inside the primer bulb, it means it completed the circuit throughout the carburetor. And with this, the carburetor is full of gum buster right now. We're going to let it soak for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're going to inject one more shot of gum buster. This is to push all the gum that came loose over the 20 minutes soak. So let's activate the, the primer bulb and one shot of gum buster. And this is sufficient now for us to start the engine. I'm going to disconnect the gum buster. There's some residual pressure left inside. And now we're going to connect the engine main fuel back to the carburetor. With this, 
we're going to be starting the engine on the gun buster that's inside the carburetor first and while that is going to burn inside the engine the carburetor is going to prime itself with the new fuel from the fuel tank there it goes okay so that was actually the gun buster burning inside the engine the whatever it was left in the in the carburetor now we're going to prime the carburetor the usual way and apply the choke to it maybe without choke Idle adjusted. Again. On this Ryobi S30, there are two adjustment screws for the air fuel ratio. The one closer to the engine is the idle screw adjustment air fuel ratio, and the one by the air filter or away from the one away from the engine is actually the main fuel system adjustment screw. So in order to adjust properly the air fuel ratio, we have to adjust both of them. We also have the trowel plate, let's call it the plate, even though it's just a bore through cylinder. In order to adjust these two screws, we're going to use the special tool, uh, Pac-Mac cold, and that one actually fits very well inside this uh, provision for the adjustment. So let's go do that. Because of the restrictions that air filter actually makes to the engine, uh, it's important to install on the engine. So let's install our air filter with the new air filter element on the inside. So now we're going to go to the adjustment of the carburetor. The first step here in adjusting the carburetor is to use the special tool and actually screw in all the way both adjustment screws, the idle and the main fuel system so now from fully closed we're going to open the idle screw two and a half turns so this will be one two and one more so two and a half turns on the idle and the same on the main screw will be one two, two and a half. So we're gonna start with this adjustment. On the other hand, the trowel adjustment screw should be just around half of its own threaded position. So this is how we're gonna start. Two and a half screws out from fully closed on both adjustment air fuel ratio screws and position the trowel screw right in the middle of its travel. Now we can start the engine. The important thing here is to remember that once we adjust the air fuel ratio is that we have to check back and forth the idle and the main fuel system. Also the engine speed. So let's go do it. is 
running pretty good, but we're gonna try to adjust the idle screw first. We're gonna turn it halfway in. And we're gonna try to minimize the idle speed. Well, we went too low on the trowel, so let's try again. Now, if we unscrew farther out the idle, the idle adjustment screw, let's say another half a turn, we're going to enrich the mixture inside the engine. And the engine is going to run at lower speed, or it should be running at lower speed. So let's try it. So we're going to unscrew it. Yes, it did. Okay, so what we're going to do here now, we're going to unscrew it all the way out until the engine dies. So we're going to do another half a turn. If this is the case, the engine cannot start. That means that the mixture is too rich and we're putting too much fuel and we're pushing the engine to try to burn that very rich fuel and it struggles to do that. So, let's put our idle screw, screw half, half adjustment, half turn back where it was before. I'm gonna turn it off. So it runs better, but it still kind of a wants to die. That means the mixture is still too rich. So let's do another half a turn in. And let's start it again. Sounds about right. So now let's go to the main fuel system. So as we left it, we left it at third turns out from fully from fully closed. So let's start the engine one more time with this adjustment. The engine is kind of slow responding to trawl. So what we're gonna do in this case, we're gonna give it some little more fuel from two, from two turns so far, we're gonna give it another half a turn. Let's try now. It's running about right. Let's try to lean the uh, main fuel screw. So put it back where it was, two turns. So let's go half a turn lean, or leaner. You can hear the engine how it hesitates to accelerate because it's too lean. 
So we're going to try to enrich it another half a turn. So we're going to turn it out half a turn. It's much better, but it's still kind of a, it hesitates to accelerate fast. So let's give it another quarter turn, give it more fuel by unscrewing it. So it's about here. Now let's try to and lean a little bit the idle screw. So let's lean it for quarter of a turn. Well, that wasn't good. So let's put it back, make it more rich, take that quarter of a turn back out and give it a quarter turn more fuel at idle. Well, the engine sounds... And now, it sounds much better. So, the only one adjustment left here is where we want to put the idle speed. So, with that, we are going to adjust the throttle plate. Let's start the engine, we're gonna play with that. But that'll be too fast. This will be too slow. So it's someplace between. Let's screw it in. Try to start it again. It sounds pretty good now, so we're gonna leave it here. 